multiple claims have appeared in the media about how the Israeli Air Force operates in Gaza. I'm Brigadier General Omer Tischler, Chief of Staff of the Israeli Air Force. I would like to discuss some of those claims. Since the October 7th massacre, the Israeli Air Force has been conducting a precise, focused, and process-based campaign. I will walk you through the principles that we keep in mind while planning operations and address misleading claims. Our planning principles include 1. Striking targets based on intel and the military necessity for close air support. 2. Evacuation efforts. They enable us to strike and maneuver in areas with minimal civilian presence. 3. Selecting the right munition to minimize collateral damage. This allows us to accurately strike Hamas even though it operates within civilian areas. 4. Real-time monitoring. During the strike, we are monitoring the target area. If it does not comply with our SOPs, we will abort. With this principle in mind, I will now address the issues that have been seen in the media. To start with, our use of so-called dumb bombs. The term dumb bombs describes munitions that are not guided based. These are standard munitions that are regularly used by military worldwide. The claim that such munitions are indiscriminate or cause uncontrollable damage is misleading. Even though these munitions are not GPS guided, they are still used accurately. It is released in a specific release point calculated by the aircraft system to allow the pilot to strike a target accurately. I also want to address our use of heavy munitions. Why do you see so many craters? Heavy munitions are detonated underground, preventing fragmentation and significantly reducing the blast wave and as debris as a result. In these strikes, the resulting crater visible in satellite images indicates that the underground detonation has actually occurred on a military target and directly minimize the damage to the surrounding areas. Additionally, in many cases, we use small PGMs to strike targets near sensitive area. Those targets include rocket launchers, commanders, tunnel shafts, and command and control centers, which are located throughout Gaza Strip. These are the principles that guide our operation. But let me be very clear, in war, mistakes can happen. While they are exceptional, they are still made. We study them, learn from them, and make changes to our process as a result. The Israeli Air Force, together with the ground forces, will continue to conduct a precise, focused, and professional campaign in accordance with the international law. To conclude, this war started after Hamas brutally attacked our people. We are fighting together in the air, at the sea, and on the ground according to our values, in order to defeat Hamas and bring our people home.